Hello guys, how's everybody doing today? Good to see all of you here, high vibrational beings. All right, question I have today. Let's get into my uh, question here. Hey Mark, what is the best kept secret in life? All right, that's a beautiful question. So all of you guys here, you, you're here to create something in your life to, to, to make the ordinary extraordinary, right? So what is the best kept secret in life according to you? What do you think is the best kept secret in life? Comment below. Hi, what is the best kept secret in life? Comment below. Our feelings, power of the mind, the best kept secret. Yes, so let me, okay, here's the best kept secret. This best kept secret is we don't create anything. We move into a space where the thing we want is already there. So we are either attracting, experiencing, vibrating to our goals or our desires. That's the first best kept secret. The second best kept secret is as followers. You don't create from outside, you create inside. The next best kept secret is to get what you want, you have to change your vibration. The next best kept secret is no one told you what is a vibration. No one taught you what is a frequency. The next best kept secret is no one sh taught you or showed you or told you that you don't change your life by changing your physical circumstance, senses, physical circumstances. You change your life by changing your inner vibration. The next best kept secret. No one told you you have an inner vibration. I could keep going on and on. I'll continue. The next best kept secret is no one told you that you are electricity and magnetism in a meat sack as a human being. The best kept secret, no one told you that you can control your world with your imagination. Not only control, but you can change everything around your physical space. So let's go into the vibration part of it. So if you want to get into a space or live into a world where everything is going good for you, the first thing you have to do, you have to identify the frequency you're on. That's the next best kept secret. No one told you this. Everything, here's the next best kept secret. Every single thing in the world has its own frequency. It lives in its own space or universe. When you go outside and you look at the tree, even though the tree is in the same space time as you, the tree is living in its own frequency. So the tree will vibrate according to a frequency that resonates with the tree. What does it mean? Well, the tree will get the photosynthesis. The tree will get the correct sunlight. The tree will get the correct water because it's locked into a frequency where it gets what it needs. Everything has the frequency. Money. Money has a frequency. So you have a frequency. So you have to identify what is your frequency. So if in order to get to the next frequency, you have to change your frequency. How do I change my frequency? Change your vibration. What is my vibration? A vibration is the state at which every cell in your body is constantly oscillating and moving and looking for an attracting match. They are looking for a frequency that resonates with what you are vibrating. So, the first thing if you want to change your vibration is you have to change what you're putting out in your mind. So you have to go inside your head and you have to examine what are my daily habits? What are my daily thoughts? Are my thoughts self-destructive? Are my thoughts self-empowering? Are my thoughts self-debilitating? Are my thoughts positive? 
that's now you're going to identify your frequency so your mind will tell you automatically what your thoughts are so oh okay now I identify my frequency oh damn I'm living in a frequency of lack and negativity because I just realized that all of my thoughts the majority of my thoughts and my expectations are not what I want so oh my goodness I'm on a frequency of lack so how can I shift my frequency to get the attention or the stuff I want so let's go back into the frequency stuff so let's talk about money frequency so this, listen this is how real the law is I'm gonna show you something powerful and you see it every day did you know that right now going through your body and my body are trillions of dollars going through us at the same time they're in the form of electronic transfers Wi-Fi money every day the banks are transferring trillions and billions of dollars accounts are transferring trillions and billions of dollars and guess what they are all passing through you right now okay when you go out and you can see money all around you everyone has the money the bank is right right there with the money the all money is around you but you can't get none man look how close the money is man why can't I get this money? Why can't I have this money in my life? Why can't I have this abundance in my life? Because the money is in a different frequency. That's what I'm showing you. It can be in the same space and time as you, and it'll show it to you. It's like it's like um, teasing you. You look at it, but you can't get it because you have to change your frequency. That's how real the law is. I'm just giving an example to show you that. That you can walk every day. You see the bank around you. You can't go in there and get the money. You see money trans. There's money going through you right now trillions of dollars Wi-Fi digital transferring through your system right this minute but you can't capture any of it and you can never capture anything if you're not on the frequency of it so let's go back and get an example of the money thing so now if you want to get into the frequency of money and you know money's all around you but you can't get it what's the number one mistake people make when they try to do something tell me what's the number one mistake they do okay I'll tell you they try too hard and they try to figure it out. They try to create a scheme. That's the, and the next mistake they make is they complain and they blame. Next mistake they make, they have a pity party for themselves. It's like, damn, I'm never lucky. I can't get that. Look at all those people getting the money and getting their success. Why this happening to me? Why can't I be successful? They do, what's going on, man? And guess what? That's what they'll continue to get because again, the biggest kept secret best kept secret is no one showed you how the universe and the mind and reality works everything you thought you knew does not work the way you think it does nothing works the way you think it does nothing it works totally the opposite I made I made this suggestion before I told you guys I said look it's like when you were a kid and they showed you how to tie your shoelace that's not how you tie your shoelace you tie your shoelace a totally different way. You have to. It's like you have to untie your shoelace, take them out of the the shoelace, and then you have to string them a different way. That's what they taught you. That's how reality is. So now let's go back into the. So now you know everything is on a frequency, and you have to identify the frequency you're on so you can get to what you want. Did you win the lottery? Ah, uh, yeah. I leave that for you guys to answer because I think that's. <laughs> What, five years now so you, you you guys know if I won the lottery or not all right now so the vibration now is to change the frequency okay let's go let's 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 use the lottery then because someone asked about the lottery so I could use that to, to teach you and show you something so I just told you that everything is on a frequency and get this everything that is on a frequency you can multiply and repeat the frequency because we live in an infinite universe so if the lottery if you want to win the lottery you can win the lottery a bunch of times if you want all you got to do is just keep going back to the same frequency so okay what I did with the lottery is when I won the lottery all I did was I identified my frequency my frequency was I was in a I was in a state of lack scarcity need and desperation so I wanted to get this car and the job I was working at just wasn't paying me enough to get the car I couldn't afford to get like car payments or anything like that so I was like man 
I got to get this car. So I identified my frequency. I was like, well, Mark, you're in a frequency of lack. So Mark, how are you going to get out of this frequency? Well, I went to physics. I said, hmm. So the universe says that I am a vibratory being of energy and vibration. And my consciousness uh, creates a field that I interact with. And just because I see something physical doesn't mean it can't change. So that's what I accepted. So I said, okay, let me go and do this thing. So I said, all right, you know what? I'm going to win the lottery. Why do you want to win the lottery, Mark? It, to me, it was the easiest way to get a large sum of money. Why, why couldn't I win the lottery? Laws of physics says I can do anything. I, there's a reality we're already won, so it's not like I'm creating it. So all I have to do is just match the frequency. So what I did, I said, okay, my frequency is lack, so I got to change my frequency. So what did I start to do? I started to change my vibration. The first thing I started to do, I started to focus on winning. I started to imagine what it would feel like to win. I started to accept that I've already won. I started to have a positive mind. I started to meditate. And most powerfully, I visualized every night me winning. And I continued to do that. And what else did I do? I took my inspired action. I sat down and said, okay, man, how much can I afford to play? I got to have a budget. I got my budget and I played accordingly daily. And I did that for months. And then voila, well, guess what happened? I'm not going to tell you what happened because all of you guys probably know what happened because I wrote a book about it. Anyway, boom. I got my car. Whoa, matter of fact, this is it right here. I'm sitting in the car that I, I bought. The very legendary, rare Dakar Yellow E46 BMW M3. Only one of ten ever made. No sunroof. When I got this car, I paid $35,000 for this car when I won a lottery. Now, you know how much this car is worth today? I got offered the other day to, for this car for $120,000. This car, this car is a 2004. So when you're on the frequency of money or anything, you can get it. This car only made 10 of these cars. One of ten, Dakar Yellow. If you know about cars or anything, you go and look at the E46 M3. Uh, this is the stick stick shift car. It makes you feel the roll. This is everything is analog. There's no digital stuff. This is a a, a collector's dream. If you know if you know cars, all right. Anyway, so when you change your vibration, like I did, as an example with the lottery, I got into the frequency. So now that I know how to get into the freak to get to the frequency of lottery, I kept doing it and I would kept winning again. So I said, all right, so I got that lottery frequency down pat. Okay, what else frequency do I want to take take advantage of? So everything has the frequency. So okay, you want to have a frequency of your business, you want to have a frequency of you know, you even have a frequency to be positive or feel positive. You know, you have you could you have a frequency where you can get out of depression. Because you know everything is a frequency. Depression is a frequency, negative thinking is a frequency, right? chronic illness anything is a frequency because let me tell you what happens inside your body is are these cells and these cells when you when you break them down you get to the molecules part of your cell and when you get to the molecule part of your cell you get to the quantum world of the cell and in the cell you have the electron the proton the neutron and they're bind together right so what these do they oscillate they spin up and they spin down it means they're vi they're vibrating and the, when they vibrate out they are creating a resonance and they're c communicating to the field and they send the frequency so if you're in a state of, of like your health is down or not good, then you're sending a frequency that you're unwell. If you're in a state of lack or anything, you're sending a frequency to the feel that you're unwell, the feel that you don't lack money, the feel that you don't have it. So what the field does, the field is just a mirror. So what the field says is going to give to you back what you're vibrating. And what you're vibrating back, it has to show up into your world the best. So what's the best way you make sense of your world? How, what's the best way we make sense of our world? Through our perceptions, through our brain. So our brain now will reflect to us what we see as physical reality. And that's where we'll start to get the stuff back. So the biggest, you know, the biggest thing to change your vibration, I'm gonna show you right now, is what I did when I won the lottery. I did this, I went into a state of just expectation. I started to, I got up one day and I just started to expect that I was going to win. I've already won. As a matter of fact, I pretended I already won. As you guys, you know guys, I bought like an air freshener for this car before I got even got this car. And I bought a mat. 
I bought I bought an M3 mat, the mat, and I put it down in my car before I even got the car. So I was in this state of expectation. Now, what is so powerful about this is because once I got into the state, my vibration automatically rose up. They call that, you could call that law of assumption, right? My vibration automatically rose up very high. And the reason my vibration rose up very high because I bypassed my belief system and I bypassed my doubting ego mind. I took them out the game. I went straight to expecting. I didn't think or th believe like, oh man, I gotta win, I'm gonna win. I didn't start doing any of that. I just started to expect that I was getting or having what I wanted. And that's the fastest way if you want to change your vibration is to get into a state of expectation. And the next way that you can change your vibration to raise your vibration even higher now is the practice of gratitude now. When you already feel grateful for already manifesting what you wanted. So I didn't just, I didn't practice gratitude for what I had. I practiced gratitude for what was coming. So I took it to the next level. So I, I started to practice gratitude as if I've already won, that I already got what I wanted. I was just like, oh man, thank you, man. It feels good to have my car feel good. Before I even got it, I was doing gratitude for that. And why is that so powerful? Because when you, the next thing about the feel, here's the next best, best kept secret they kept from you, is that there is no such thing as the past or the future. Everything is now. So when I was acting what you call future or pretending or acting, whatever you want to call it, that I already had this car, I wasn't in the future. I was in the now. My subconscious mind now believed that I had this car. And remember now, what's the best sense your brain makes of reality? Your brain. So that, if my, your, my, your subconscious must make sure your brain is congruent with what's being delivered. So what happened was, because I was in that state of expecting, of, you know, feeling it or pretending it, the only way my world could make sense to me was for me to have what I was pretending and expecting because our thoughts and our emotions must become congruent to make our world make sense to us. So in, our, in layman's term, my brain had to match and bring in what my subconscious put out. Therefore, I get to experience the things I wanted or I desired. Yes, something important. Whenever you get into the expectation mode, you have to do the pre-work of it. That means you have to build the belief that it's possible. So I just didn't get up one day and just said I expected I was going to win and got buy this car. I didn't do that. I had to build a little belief first that it was possible. Once I built a little belief that it was possible, I left that and I went into expectation. Now, maybe there's some people that can do that. They can just go straight to the expectation. That's mean you're very positive or you automatically have a positive mindset. You can do that. But you definitely have to build a foundation to start it. Once you build a foundation to show your mind that it's possible, then you can jump into expectant. And that really takes your vibration up. So when you raise your vibration, you do it by being optimistic, by being positive, by practicing gratitude. You when you raise your vibration, you get into being into expecting it. See that? So now you switch the vibration up to a frequency where that thing exists. So now what happens is, it's up to your unconscious mind now to bring that congruency into your world so you can get to experience the very thing you want. And that is the best kept secret they keep from you, is the fact that you don't change anything externally, you gotta change it internally. Notice everything I talked about to you guys, it was an internal thing, right? I didn't do anything external. The only thing external I did was I took the inspired action, I bought my tickets, right? But the win and the manifestation already happened internally already. There was nothing for me to do external. So that's the next best keep, best next best kept secret, next best secret. Yeah, well, they kept from you is that they condition you to believe you do stuff externally. Nothing that has ever come into your life has happened externally. I'll repeat that again because people may be confused. Like, what this guy's talking about? I'll say it again. That means nothing. Where you're at right now. In this point in time and space, what your income is, where you live in, what your relationship is, none of that came externally. What you're seeing is an effect that's portrayed to be external. 
What caused you to be where you're at right now, to be thinking the way you're thinking, acting the way you're acting, the income you're making, the health you have, the mindset you have, all of that took place internally along your journey. Some of it you were aware of, but you ignored it because you didn't know it was how it works. You just thought it was normal. The majority of it was unconscious internal programs that was driving you to make decisions, to make choices, to put you where you're at. And then when you get to where you're at, you see the physical world, so you automatically assume, I did this externally. Can't work, it doesn't happen that way. That's the next best kept secret from you guys. If you think about it, everything comes from a cause and effect. Cause, effect. So look at this as the cause, boom. Cause, effect, the ripple. Nothing in the universe can just come from an effect. There have to be a cause. Every action is what? Equal da 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 reaction, right? So, what you have to do now, you have to change the game and realize like, damn, I've been playing this game wrong all my life. I've been using, I've been trying to do an effect. So now you see how it won't work, right? You see that, now you see why you get struggling, you buck and you resist because you're trying to fix an effect that is already done. You can't, you can't, you cannot change something that is already manifested. That's impossible. Now there's such a thing as impossible and that's what you can't do. You know, if when, okay, I'll give you an example. When the glass breaks, if you have a glass and it breaks and it shatters, you can't go backwards and and make the glass come back together. You can't. When you spill the milk, the milk ain't gonna automatically go back up into the cup. That is called entropy. So once something is has, has happened, it's just happened. You can change the cause now to create a new effect. So that's the easiest way to make sense to you. Because there's a lot of people out there that they're busting their minds and they're busting their brains and they're trying and they're seeing it's not working and it can never work. So I think that, that out of everything else that I've taught you and I'm showing you, that is the biggest, best kept secret is that you have been conditioned to move externally instead of internally. Internal means you create it based on how you feel, what you think and what you imagine. That's how you generate your world. What triggered my spiritual awaken and what will trigger every person's spiritual awakening is known as your higher self. Whenever your higher self decides it's time for you to come online, that's when it will kick in. So a spiritual awakening, you don't choose when to get awakened. Your higher self chooses when to awaken you. So for some, that's why I told you guys, I said, don't go out there trying to bust your brain and talk to people and try to awaken them because they're still asleep until their higher selves put them online, that's when they'll come online and they'll be in resonance to your message. But if you're out there and your message isn't catching them, they're just not online. You know when you go on your computer, you see not online, logged off, and when you go back, you say, oh, they're online. So that's how it works. So and for, for the record, if you're watching this, or if any video of this sort found you, you're online. You're in your spiritual awakening. None of this video will ever find someone who is not in a spiritual awakening. If you're looking for content about manifesting, about a law of assumption, law of attraction, energy, vibration, anything to do with mindset, positive, getting better, goal setting, congratulations, you are on your spiritual awakening. Because the universe will not give you what you're not in resonance with. It's not gonna come into your field. So congratulations for you. If today's the first time you found this, here you go, your spiritual awakening has begun. And what's the beauty of being in spiritual awakening? The beauty of spiritual awakening. Now listen, the key is, when we talk about spiritual awakening, we got to get this straight. We're not into religion here. Spirituality has nothing to do with religion. Spirituality is about physics and the universe. It's about the non-physical. It's about the invisible that your eyes can't see, but they are there. It's about energy, frequency, vibration, particles, dimensions, fields. Okay, that's what it's about consciousness so it's a it's a different level of the game 
So when you're on a spiritual awakening, that means you are now invested to put together the tools that will change your life. When you master spiritual awakening and you get to that point, you become a shaper of worlds. You can change the world. You can do anything. You can win the lottery like I did multiple times if you want. You can go create a multi-billion dollar business. Anything you want to do. Because now you have moved from what we call Newtonian physics, which is what we call matter or what we call things that look real, to what is called now quantum physics, which shows what reality is truly made from. And then once you understand that the secret lies in your imagination and your powers of reasoning, of thought, of feelings, then you can manipulate what's called the field. And when you manipulate the field, the field is like a mirror. It will always reflect back to you as your physical experience. Now, here's someone here. That's why I love doing these live. Because I love to have healthy debates here. Someone says, who's this guy right here? Uh, I ever see. Now, here's the, here's the thing you understand when you're on a spiritual awakening. People who are not on a spiritual awakening they don't know themselves. This person says, oh, not true. Only with God you can. That's the biggest lie you have been told. Obviously, let me help to shed some light to this person. Now, if we talk about spiritual, the non-physical, once you get into this knowledge, you're going to be awakened to something profound. And the profound thing you're going to be awakened to is to realize that, oh my goodness, there is no God that exists that is one totalitarian being that is controlling the entire universe. That's the first realization you're going to get. The next realization you're going to get is, oh my goodness, I am the God split into different levels of consciousness which is circulating and creating this hallucinational dimensional plane of existence through an electromagnetic spectrum which my body converts into electrochemical signals through photons of light that get spit out. I mean, I, I probably lost a few people when, when I'm talking about this. And these electrons or photons become transparent information that my brain uses in the field called qubits such as binary codes of zeros and ones and spit them out and my brain creates an image of a hologram that I see as my world. That's the next best kept secret. Wow! Man! And here's the next best kept secret about this one when you get this, when you realize that you're a God exhibit yourself as this person. Here's the next best kept secret. You have proof. You're in science. Physics shows you this. You can do equations. You can do experiments to show you that your body is made up of material that is immaterial. The ingredients in your body cannot have any physical mass. Where's this guy? Is he still here? What's his name? Ea3. Go ahead and chime in. This is all facts. I don't care if you don't believe it. The guy left. Of course he left. Listen, people. You can come on here and you can talk what you want to talk. But if you're going to come on here and talk what you want to talk, make sure you talk what you want to talk with evidence of proof. Not metaphysics not what you think not what you feel I need to see evidence I need to see the physics I need to see the research I need to see the documents I need to see the peer reviews so if you don't have any of that as your mom said if you got nothing nice to say don't say anything at all because you're only going to embarrass yourself okay it's, it's, it's only two ways look it's either the truth or it's bullshit. That's how you do it. Truth, bullshit. If you want to find the truth, you go into science. Science is the best theory we have to show us what's happening in our world.
It's a profound thing. You can, you can run the experiments. You can run them all day, all night. They'll still come out the same. It's not going to change tomorrow. It's not going to change next year. It's going to change. Matter of fact, everything you see around you is made from science. The, the phones, the timing on your phones, the computers you're using, everything is run on quantum physics. The GPS system, with no, the, your cell phone can't operate without the laws of physics. Okay? All right. So, now you have the best kept secret. Evidence counts. Now, I'll go back to one thing. So the next best kept secret is this. I'll do one more. You will never be able to see or experience what you're not a vibrational match with. Like I said, you could be in a world where there's abundance around you and you're seeing it, everyone is seeing it. But if you're not tuned to the frequency, you can never experience it because everything must come to you based on your perception. That's the next best kept secret. So if the easiest way to change your perception to get on a frequency of abundance is to practice being optimistic and positive. You have to literally either force your mind, which you can do, it's called willpower, this will help you. You gotta literally force yourself to think about things that will happen for you for good. Even if your ego is messing with you, force it. Because that when you force that, it's gonna create an impression unconscious. And then every day it's gonna get a lot easier and easier for you to believe that. Because the field does not judge, the field is not a person or a thing or a being. It's just an information factory that produces what we put out as a mirror back to us. So if you're in an optimistic mind and a positive mind and you're always saying things are working out for me no matter what happens, it's gonna happen, it's gonna be worked out, then you are forcing the field to reflect back to you through your unconscious and then something amazing happens you'll start to get good things happening in your life so that means you literally have the power to be what you want i see someone typing i want to be a billionaire i want to be a millionaire you can do all of that anything you want can come because the field is infinite the field generates what you want the only block is your own thinking there is no limitation there's only limitless limitation comes from you you see your own mind your own fault your own beliefs there's nobody else stopping you or limiting you from what you want it's your own self your unconscious your ego those are the only two things that can stop you no one else can't stop you the guy next to you your co-worker your friend they can't stop you only you can stop you because again they are all just in effect you are the cause so it all starts and ends with you. So I will see you again next time.